The other plane just went through the woods. I hear another fleet. Yep, 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 yep. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, they must have. That. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I've never seen it like this before, ever. That's gonna be a big one. I can't see it yet. Where is it? You look at Mario's looking for it too. You're looking for it too. This is like a war zone. And you can see the high winds. Like I said before, these winds are crazy. They don't help the fires at all. This is incredible. Look at the jet. It's a huge jet. That's what they use to fight the fires. I've seen this before. These are old military jets. Whatever fire they're fighting that's nearby is big. Wow, look at that. That's one of those military jets. That is insane. I've never seen so many planes. I know um, they had a big, big fire up uh, in British Columbia. I mean, all of British Columbia is burning. We have many fires already surrounding us. Where I just was a couple weeks ago, Gibraltar Ridge, and I've got footage of Gibraltar Ridge. That's on fire in Montana. We've got, is another plane coming? Yes, there's another one. There's another one. Look. That, that is, can you imagine, uh, you know, wrap your brain around this. When people talk about being prepared and that, you know, um, I, uh, uh, like building, rebuilding my pantry. Some people have said, well, you know, why do you want to rebuild your pantry um, and get all that stuff? Because then what happens if you move or you don't need all that stuff if, since you're single? Imagine if something bad happens, really bad happens. No, oh, the grocery stores aren't going to be there. They're going to be closed. They're going to be closed. There's not going to be no food. There's not going to be when something bad happens, when the SHTF really hits the fan. And I don't care if it's a natural disaster. I don't care if it's an EMP going off. I don't care what it is. The, we go to war. You better be prepared. Oh, you know, this is just spooky because I see all these planes and, and, it, and, it, and it reminds me of how we need to be prepared. Can you imagine living like this? And there's no communication. There's planes flying around. The military's on high alert. And um, you ain't got nothing in your pantry. You got no medical supplies. And you don't know the Lord. You're not spiritually prepared. I'm telling you, this is a wake-up call. This is a wake-up call. Wow. I just stopped the car. This plane is flying so low, he must be dipping into the Kootenai. Hang on. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's what they're doing. They're going into the Kootenai. They're going into the Kootenai. Look at that. We're going to see if we can go get some footage. That's where all the planes are going. They're circling. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. There's the river. I think they're dipping in there. Wow. Wow, that freaked me out. There he is. Look at that. They're dipping. They're dipping right in there. That's where the planes are coming from. Oh, wow. I was wondering what was going on. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, look at, we're surrounded. Holy moly. That's insane. All 
right over there. There they go. They're going right over there. Oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, there's another one. Wow, something's burning close. Something's on fire close. Look at how they're circling. There's another one coming right up the Kootenai River, circling right over there. Yep, yep, there he goes. Wow. That's a real good pilot. Took him over almost and grew up at the top of the cottonwood. Yeah, that is something. So are they taking the water then, you think, out of the Kootenai here? They're either doing yep, water yeah. or retarding. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was figuring that they were probably doing. Oh, uh, okay. Awesome. Okay, wow. What, what they do, they drag their feet in the river and throw the pontoons and tell them to get them on the fire. Ah, oh, wow. That is unbelievable. They're like crop duster planes right now. Holy moly. Oh, whoa, there we go. There you go, coming in for, I'm talking to these guys here, they're talking about, oh look at, see, they're, they're getting the water. That's what they're doing, they're on the bend, oh yeah. They're, they're dipping in the water there. I bet you if I go to the refuge, I'd be able to see that, look at that. I'm talking to these guys here and they're talking about legalizing um, marijuana and the crime rate and, yeah, we're getting on some good subjects. There we go, there's, there's, there's a, a uh, active fire up by Port Hill. That's not too far from where I live, right on the border. They said it's on fire. It's coming down 95. That's why they're all here. There they go. Oh, I was so I was just leaving. I was just leaving these guys and um, oh, awesome guys. And and the one guy said, oh you. He said, he said, oh, we'll see you later. I said, see you later. And he's like, hey, you're pretty. <laughs> I said, well, thank you. He says, yeah, you're pretty. <laughs> it's the best compliment of the day.